Hey guys, it's Marcus here and welcome to AffiliateMarketingDude.com. And in this video, what I'm going to do today is take you through the keyword research that we do on our niches. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're building this around one of the high ticket niches that I set up for one of my customers. Now, if you're interested in having me pick a niche for you, get a domain name for you, put some content and structure the domain name and get it all ready for you to market, then you'll want to take a look at highticketniches.com where you can sign up for that service. We do it all by hand. I give you one of my personal niches, my personal domain names. We tell you the affiliate offers. We give you a traffic method. We get you some content, put the plugins and everything. And when you're done with that service and your site is set up, it's going to look something like this. This is the one that we're going to be going through. And in this video, I want to show you the details of how the keyword research works and where to find the profit. Now you'll notice that this one is called business cash flow problems, right? And those are always going to be your keywords. Whatever your domain name has in it, those are your keywords. So in this instance, we are going for business cash flow problems. Now what I'm going to do first and foremost is I'm going to copy this keyword and we're going to take it over to the Google keyword AdWords keyword planner, right? That's the long name for it, but it's the Google keyword planner. We're going to paste that in here and you'll have to excuse me. I've been getting over like a three week long cough. It's a asthma pain in the neck thing. So I sound kind of funny, but at any rate, we're going to go ahead and type this in the, in the keyword planner like this. Okay. And we're going to hit get ideas. Now, first and foremost, what we want to do is we want to kind of reverse engineer the idea that went into this in the first place. Okay. Now you're going to notice lots of different keywords, lots of different things. Okay. Now, when I say that the main keyword is business cash flow problems, that doesn't mean that's the only keyword. Okay. That just means we're using this keyword as our main piece of traffic getting juice or whatever you want to call it. Okay. And then we're going to go in and we're going to take a look at the other ones as well. So you'll see that business cash flow problems has a, uh, about 50 searches a month, which is pretty low, right? That's like one and a half searches a day, which is nothing. Okay. You, if you get a number one ranking on this term, you're probably not going to get that much traffic if this is the only term you go for. But what you're also going to notice is that we could also go for like cash flow problems or business cash problems or uh, business problems or something like that. Okay, so we'll see here that we have like cash flow problems, business cash flow, um, different things like that. Okay, now what we're looking at here is our main root keyword, which is the root keyword of cash flow problems with 1300 searches a month. Also, you know, still pretty low. That's like, what, 50 searches a day isn't that huge. But what we're taking a look at is where we're leading these people, right? Because cash flow problems, if we put this in Google like this, you're going to see that there's no advertisers, right? We have small business, fresh books, but there's no advertisers. Okay. Down at the bottom, we have three advertisers here, which are not that big. We'll take a look at some others. Okay. Nothing on top, a couple of them on the bottom. And what we're looking for is, are the ads kind of like replicating themselves or the same ad showing up over and over? If that's the case, which it looks like the case, it doesn't look like there's too many on page three, there's no ads. Okay. So by looking at this and saying low competition, Google is saying that it's about uh, $6 and 88 cents a click, which is not true, right? It's not true because it's a low competition and there's no one bidding. We should be able to get this for less than a dollar. Okay, one of the other things we can check out is the fact that on page three, I noticed YouTube. Okay, so we could go here, we could say, hey, check this out. This guy's had his ad, his YouTube thing up here for almost a year and a half now. And uh, we could see that he's had um, 89,000 views, right? So that's a lot of traffic that he didn't have to pay for just by being on page three <coughs> of Google. Pretty cool. Now, one of the other things we can do is we could check out uh, MSN, which is ran by the Bing pay-per-click platform. And we're going to go ahead and put in <coughs> the word cash flow problems like this. Okay. Now, check this out. We got interstate billing, one advertiser, and interstate billing on the bottom. So there's only one advertiser. Like, realistically, um, <coughs> we could go for this word <coughs> and be... <coughs> 
number one for like 10 or 20 cents. So dirt cheap traffic, good. Now, what we want to do is we want to reverse engineer and say, well, that's great. Um, you know, 20 cents a click is cheap, but what are we going to do with them? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to take them to something like this, right? See how we have small business cash flow problems, high competition, like $15 a click? That's good. That means advertisers are willing to pay for this type of traffic, okay? Put this in here. Boom, lots of advertisers, right? Put this in Google. <coughs> Boom, lots of advertisers. Okay, also, another thing we want to look at is a keyword like small business loans, right? An obvious answer to a business cash flow problem is small business loans, which is 37, almost $37 per click, and it's high competition and there's lots of traffic and everything, right? Check this out. Lots and lots of advertisers. You got on deck cabbage funding, snap cap. You got these ads, credit card, reliant funding, um, right? Lots and lots of advertisers. So really good. Now we know, hey, you know what? Even if I only get like a 10th of this traffic, that's still 130 visitors. You know, if they're going for loans, this could be a very, very lucrative market. And then, of course, to find out if it is, in fact, a lucrative market, all we need to do is take a look at some of the secondary keywords, take a look at what the AdSense is paying or what the, what the advertisers are bidding, because as AdSense publishers, we'll get a portion of that, um, and see what the affiliate offers are as well. So first of all, we know this is a very profitable market because it is a backdoor into small business loans. Okay, so as much traffic as we can get, these guys are willing to pay for it because it's pretty good traffic. Okay, now we can also go to places like Offer Vault and take a look at uh, maybe credit card offers, perhaps uh, business leads, something like that that we could lead these people into. So we could do like business loans, <coughs> right, like this. <coughs> Excuse me business loans like this, we could see we have a cabbage small business loan. He's paying $200 a lead over at Max Bounty uh, cabbage here, uh, go cash loan. So there's a lot of money here, right? I mean, if you get uh, two or three of these a week, you're making, you know, close to three, $4,000 a month just on this one little market. Now, of course, that's only two to three uh, leads. If we get 10 then you're making, you know, a little bit more and stuff like that. So it's going to do really, really well. Um, depending on what you're looking at. If you get one a day, that's 6,000 bucks or 70 something thousand dollars a year just from one market, okay? Very important to look at. So we could see here that yes, this is a market that has a low cost of entry, okay? Cash flow problems is a low cost of entry. Uh, the business cash flow, different things like that is a low cost of entry, uh, especially when you factor in uh, YouTube and everything like that. It pays really big. We could see small business loans is $36 a click. In addition to the offers over at Offer Vault, of course, we would have to go to Max Bounty to get this offer, but it is a good offer. Okay, so we see that there's a lot of profitability in this market, and this is one that I would definitely pull the plug on. I'd say, yes, this is a market we'd go for, which is, of course, why I selected it. Uh, for the high ticket niche. Again, you could get those over at highticketniches.com. You just fill out the form, uh, then you'll be directed to a page where you say what types of niches you'd like to be in. We find one for you, we find the offers, the keywords, and everything. So, this is the introductory video on how this works. Okay, we're going to take a look at one of the other sites in this video just to hammer home the idea of how the reverse engineering of the keywords works. Now, the step that you want to do after finding out if your keyword is profitable and saying yes, once you find a profitable keyword, is to go through and take all your subcategory words. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and add uh, cash flow problems. We're going to do, um, let's see, cash flow issues, cash flow problems, business. And again, these are going to start to add up as you can see. Okay. We're going to go ahead and take <clears throat> how to solve cash flow problems, cash flow problems in business, problems with cash flow, um, cash flow projection could be a good one, solving cash flow problems. Okay, we're going to go ahead and take all these keywords that have low competition and we're going to add them to our database so that we know what to go for. Okay, because each and every one of these, even like this one with only 40 searches a month, okay, if it gives us, you know, 10 clicks a month, that's 
could be 200 bucks a month, all right, just by going for that simple word. And of course, when you add a lot of these up, you start to get a lot more uh, traffic and a lot more money. Here's business cash flow um, and everything like that. So we'd go through and we find as many uh, keywords as we could, cash flow finance, cash flow for business, um, cash flow chart could work, um, wouldn't add it just yet. That would be later on down the road when we're building this. Um, but these are good ones to, to keep in our pocket to say, hey, look, boom, here's another uh, thousand clicks or here's another 590 clicks, here's another thousand clicks or whatever. And we just start to grow and add and grow and add. And a lot of times these things, I mean, this is a really, really good converting one uh, if you can use it correctly, okay? Now, once you're done adding your keywords, I'm gonna say add maybe 10, maybe 15, 20 if, they're, if there's a lot of good ones, okay? Then when you're done, you could just go ahead and uh, click this button here and it'll copy all the words to your clipboard um, and you're gonna save this in a text file, okay? These are your entry words. These are the words we're using to get people to us, okay? The expensive words like small business loans are going to be words we use to take people from our site to something that's more money, like a affiliate offer or a AdSense site or something like that, where we could get in there and make money, okay? Let's take a look at one more and give you guys a little bit more detail on how the keyword things work. And then uh, you can go do this for yourself with the Google Keyword Planner. Uh, you could go to highticketniches.com and get one of our niches and get started there. And uh, we're gonna have some more videos on this as well. So let's take a look at the second one here which is rent or buy calculator, okay? Again, we're gonna take the root keyword. As you can see, we get very valuable domain names, rent or buy calculator.net, a very valuable domain name. These things go for uh, a lot of money, but we give them to you as part of highticketniches.com. Uh, that offer there, you can go fill that out. You're on your way, okay? We're gonna take that keyword, we're gonna put it here, All right, like this. And now we have rent to buy, buy to rent, rent to buy homes. We have rent or buy calculator, which is a thousand searches per month and low competition says it's 60 cents. But again, we're gonna go to Google and take a look and we can see there are no advertisers on top, no advertisers on bottom, no advertisers on the second page. Again, we'll check uh, MSN just to be sure. Rent or buy calculator right like this. And boom, interest.com, bank rate, your rent owned. So not a whole lot of advertisers. Okay, we could get this dirt cheap, probably 10 cents, maybe a little bit more per click. Really cheap traffic. Okay, <clears throat> now, what can we do with them? Right, what can we do with these people is the question. And of course, the answer is going to be stuff like mortgages, right? Can Basically, we want to take the keyword down to the root level and say, what does the person want? Okay, when they're looking at business cash flow problems, they want solutions to getting more cash flow in their business. When they're looking at something like rent or buy calculator, they want to see if it makes sense to rent or if it makes sense to buy, if they can afford to buy, if they can only afford to rent, they wanna calculate this stuff and figure it out. So everything we do with the high ticket niches comes back to the idea of search intent. What is the reason this person is searching for this thing? Okay, if you can answer that question, which is what the high ticket niches are all about, we do that for you. If you can answer that question, you can make a ton of money, just like we did with uh, the small business loans with the people looking at the cash flow, right? Rent or buy calculator, we can go for things like mortgage, okay? And again, we wanna take a look and say, well, what does it pay? Okay, now we can also have other offers in the back end, right? We could say, well, mortgage should be a good one, but also they might be interested in credit, right? Credit score, those are very good offers, okay? But right now, the obvious solution is mortgage, right? Here we have for, first choice capital, reverse mortgage, lending tree, looks like a lot of reverse. Here's FHA guide. This would be a good one because FHA by nature is for people that uh, want a low down payment, okay? So it could fit really well with our renter by calculator people, okay? And again, we wanna take a look at this and say, well, all these people are looking up rent or buy, 
<clears throat> our job is to educate them and then get them into the things that make us money, which is the uh, mortgage loans, which is the clicks on AdSense for mortgage, which is, you know, uh, down payment assistance or whatever it is that's going to help them uh, with their question. Again, intent. Can I afford a house is basically what they're asking, or it doesn't make sense to get a house. All right, very cool. So we wanna take a look at this again, take a look at our keyword. Now, when you have a keyword like this, where rent to buy, rent to buy, it comes up with lots of different things. What we can do is click on this, only show ideas closely related, and it's gonna isolate words that just have rent or buy calculator in them, okay? A very quick way to get um, the overview of what's going on here okay and there's enough traffic and as we see uh with the mortgage thing it pays 34 dollars per lead um some of them pay a lot more per lead like 75 for this one so it's really good okay we also see low competition all the way down right that's the beauty of these high ticket niches we get you ones where you know every niche seems crowded except for the ones that we find which is kind of cool right highticketniches.com all right so we go here and we say renter by calculator this is this is our um, incoming words again these are the words that are going to get people to us now we want to take them out to stuff like um, fha loan or something like that or mortgage loan or apply for mortgage loan those are always good you can see here fha loan is ten dollars a click we could do apply for mortgage, right, like this, get ideas, and boom. Well, boom, in a minute, there we go. And now we have 16, 20, 27, $30 a click on some of these words. So really good, right? It's like, okay, does it make sense to rent or buy? Well, the rates right now are 4%, so it makes sense to buy. Uh, click here to apply and see how much you can afford, right? Boom, there you go, good deal. So the idea here is to look at how the keywords work and really focus on the difference between your incoming words, which are the inexpensive, non-competitive ones, and your outgoing words, which are where you're taking people to. Okay, this is a little method I call market flipping. You're flipping the market from one idea to something else based on the search intent. So I hope you had fun watching these videos. I hope it helped you understand um, how we use keywords, how we build a keyword list, how we're getting traffic versus where we're sending traffic, and what kind of keywords we're looking for, and of course, how to get those gems of, um, <clears throat> of the non-competitive markets. So stay tuned for video number two, where I'm going to record it right now, of how to do uh, these sites. Because once you get your high ticket niche, it's going to look like this, and you'll be like, well, what do I do with it? Right, and that this next video is gonna show you what to do with it. We're gonna edit this site and get it ready uh, to get some traffic and start testing so that you can start getting some results and hopefully start making some money. So that's the goal, that's what we're gonna do. Stay tuned for that. Um, I'm gonna put two videos on this page. Video one is going to be the next video of this series. When it's done, it'll be up there. And video number two is going to be a video on more detailed keyword stuff. If you like the keyword stuff and you need to find a niche, uh, you can go watch that one, okay? Really good stuff, check them out. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel to get all these cool videos and everything like that. We've got a lot of stuff coming out for you. Hopefully a little bit more now that my cough is starting to go away. So thanks for watching. Go over to highticketniches.com. Get your niche. It's well worth it. Uh, if you work it, we'll help you out, make it work, everything like that. Subscribe to my channel and check out the other videos. Thanks again. I'm Marcus from Affiliate Marketing Dude, and I'll see you in the next video.